Hi, Chad Liddell here with the Toy Box team at Avalanche Software. I'm very excited to start showing you all the cool new things you can do in the Toy Box 2.0. And in this first video, I will show you how to do the basic editing and building. So to start off with, uh, you'll notice that I'm using an Xbox One controller. And it's a little bit different than some of the other controllers, but it's everything maps the same. And if you can watch and see what I do on this controller, it'll translate, or it'll translate directly into the other systems. So don't worry about that. So to bring a toy into the world, what you do is you press the back button or the select button on other systems. And this will bring up a view that shows different toys along the bottom of the screen that you can select. And then the toy itself is in the center of the screen. I can move that toy around with a left stick. And you'll notice that as I move it, it's turning these toys underneath uh, to have a yellow outline. That yellow outline means that I'm touching the toy. So if I were to place this down, it would be on the ground. Uh, if I move it over something that's invalid, it turns red. This means I can't place it here. And one little tip is if I press and hold in on the left trigger, it'll move much faster. So the right stick will let me control the camera. I can rotate it around or pitch it up and down. If I left click, or excuse me, if I right click in on the right stick, uh, it will zoom between different levels. I change toys. Uh, with the D-pad, so left and right on the D-pad will cycle between the different toys at the bottom. And I can change categories by pressing up and down. You'll notice that that's a difference between the last game. So uh, that is another thing that is different um, to point out is that I now move toys up and down using the, the right trigger. So I hold that in, and then with the left stick I can move it up and down, and I can rotate it. And there's a lot of nice things about this. One of them is that I don't have to jump between the D-pad and the left stick constantly as I'm placing toys. It's a much smoother experience. Uh, another thing that has changed uh, that I should point out is we now have snapping on quite a few different types of toys. So if I go up to something like uh, the, rail, the rail slide pieces, this is a good one. Um, they, will, they now have these little icons on them on the left and the right side there. You can see it looks like a plug. These mean this has snapping, so if I place one of these down and then I just flick the stick to the, the side, it'll, well, I didn't do a very good job, but I'll show this again. Um, it'll line that up, so you can see how those, the little uh, icon is now animating. That means that I'm lined up perfectly. So now, flick it to the right and that'll, that'll uh, set into place. It's nice because some of these pieces are a little funky and it'll still automatically line up to them. So, you can see when I get close to it, you just it sucks in and then I can connect that. Makes it a lot simpler. Um, there are some other new features as well. Uh, one of them is undo, which is very nice. If I hit Y, it'll delete the, the toys that I've placed down. Also, if I have a toy that maybe is a little complicated, like this counter toy, and I want to know information about it, I can hold and press, or I can press the uh, left trigger, and then that will bring up something that will tell me information on it. We didn't have that previously. It's a very nice feature for when you're new learning new toys. So, let's see, uh, another thing is finding toys can be a big pain in the butt, especially um, in Infinity 2.0, we have thousands of toys, so uh, we added a new feature called filtering, which helps you to find toys much faster. You can think of it as, as uh, viewing categories in an alternate way. Um, probably the easiest thing is just to show you how it works. If I press the left bumper, it'll bring up the filters menu. And then I can go through these different items and they will, they will let me see toys in a different way. So for example, Toy Origin is a good one that I use a lot. If I want to find something that's in Pirates, um, you'll see that you know, it says Pirates of the Caribbean set, um, Lone Ranger, Toy Story set. These are all the toys I, I have unlocked previously in the game. Um, it's very quick to find those using this. Um, another one that's handy is Decorations. I can go through, um, oops, let me see if I, okay. So, yard decorations, city decorations, clusters. Um, I'll put one of those down because I'll show you how to customize it in a minute. Uh, we'll do a couple of them. Besides, trees look good, right? Okay, so this gives you a chance to be able to see all these different ways of, of uh, viewing toys terrain. Oh, another thing that's really cool that we've added uh, is the ability to add a toy as a favorite. So, if I press X, it will give this little thumbs up Mickey hand on it. Um, love, trees and bushes, you know, cacti. So if, if I press X, this favorites these. So if I want to view uh, these toys that I've added as a, as a favorite, what I do is I go into the filters menu, I go up to custom filters, 
and this will show things like recently used, and then here's my favorites. So if I use a toy a lot, I will favorite it, and then it makes it very quick to find it again. Uh, this also shows most used. So recently view, used, most used, and favorites. So once I have some things in the world and uh, I can go back to playing, I might want to edit these or change these. And there's a couple of different ways that I can do that. The most common way is to use the magic wand, which I get by pressing the left bumper and then it's this tool. It's a little tool on the left side of the screen there. You can select that. I aim by using the left trigger. And then you'll notice this little uh, compass doodad thing that shows up on the bottom right. That shows the different things you can do to this. So one of the things I can do is if I press Y, it will customize that. And it'll bring up this menu that, or this view that is very similar to the other view when you're placing toys. And you'll notice I don't have a ton of customizations yet. But if I go over here and then if I press A, it will apply that customization. I can see what it looks like there. Or if I press Y, it'll customize all of them in the world. And it'll bring up a thing that says, you sure you want to do this? I hit yes and then whoop, they all switch out. So that's very handy. Um, theme all. You can see this is my favorite customization. Actually, it's not. Um, uh, another thing you can do is if you hit X to set theme, that'll in the in the future that will set things automatically to that theme. Um, that's very handy. Uh, if you want to move a toy, you can just highlight it, and press A. Now I can take control of it, move it around, move it up and down, rotate it. Maybe I want to put it over here next to the cliff edge because it looks so good there. So I can set that down just by pressing A. Exit the editor. Um, the other thing I can do is delete. So I can go in here and press B and that'll kill it and take it away. Uh, so that's the magic wand. There's another way to do all of these things while you're editing. So if I go back into the editor, if I press RB, the right bumper, this will take me into what's called spark mode. Spark mode just changes me into a little flying cursor basically. And it moves the exact same way as when I'm just editing. So I can go over and hover over one of these and it gets this green outline. The compass on the bottom right shows the things you can do to it. It's exact same as um, when you're using the magic wand. So I can press a button on it. Um, I pressed A, or excuse me, yeah I did press A. So that'll let me move it around. Um, and then when I'm done, I just press the button down. If I want to go back into spark mode, it's RB. One of the updates from Infinity 1 is um, it's now on a toggle, which makes it a lot easier. I go into and out of spark mode just by pressing the right bumper. So I will customize the whole world by, uh, I'll go over here, select this with the, with the uh, spark mode, press Y to go into the customizations, customization screen. I have a whopping one customization unlocked currently. So I'm going to apply that to the whole world and you'll see how big of a difference this makes. Everything changes out. Very cool. Um, back out. One thing that's cool about the spark mode is you can also travel using this. So uh, you'll note I started over there on the left by that TP thing. If I move over here um, and then I exit uh, the spark mode by pressing RB and then I exit out of the editor, my character will be in that spot. So it's a fast way to move around. So I think that's the basics of editing in Infinity 2.0. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments field, and I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you later. Have a good one.